Well, good morning, everyone. Good to see you all again. Good to be uh, seeing you in person and uh, great to be back at training camp. And we're excited to be here at another training camp. Great to see the fans back. Uh, great to ha have our energy back to where, where, where it was. And it's also good to be here at the Omni Vikings Lake Hotel. Uh, Viking Lakes Hotel is really, uh, we're, we're celebrating its official opening and and the partnerships that have uh, brought this great venue to life. So appreciate you all coming out here for that. And uh, the hotel's been a great addition uh, to Viking Lakes. We're excited to build an incredible uh, live, work, and play environment here at Viking Lakes. Uh, from a football standpoint, uh, we're super energized, super excited for the season ahead, and uh, glad to see all the players back and coaches and working. And uh, again, we remain focused on building uh, the strong foundation uh, vying for the NFC North, of course, and ultimately our ultimate goal of, of, of winning Super Bowls. And uh, But right now I know Coach Zimmer, Rick Spielman, and, and the team are working hard to just get ready for the season. So with that, I'll, I'll open up. Mark, I think the big storyline has been COVID. Um, one assistant coach refusing the vaccine, three quarterbacks currently um, in the COVID protocol. How concerned are you with you know, the perceived vaccine hesitancy within the team? Well, we're very concerned. I think uh, it's, it's safe to say our, our number one priority is the health and safety of our players, our coaches, our staff, and, and ultimately the entire community. So uh, from that standpoint, we really are encouraging uh, people to take the vaccines, to get vaccinated. We're proud of the fact we've partnered with the state of Minnesota to have our facility here used as a vaccination center here in the off season. And uh, we just want everyone to follow the protocols. Uh, we're trying to educate everyone in the organization, the team to make sure to get the vaccinations. Of course, the Delta variant and all, all the other new permutations going on. We just want to make sure uh, to preserve the health and safety. And that's that's the standpoint we come from as ownership and as an organization. Mark, is it over? How do you handle it? There's a pretty good spat going on between the head coach and the, and the starting quarterback. Um, how do you handle that as, as an owner? Because it could become a big distraction. Well, we have full co confidence and we're working uh, constantly with Coach Zimmer and, and, and Rick and the entire football organization to make sure uh, to follow what I'm saying. Is, is it's get, It really gets back to focusing on health and safety. Of course, there's also a competitive aspect to it as well. We recognize that, but we really come about it from that standpoint, making sure we educate and, and uh, uh, get the facts to, our, to everybody so they, they can make the right decisions in terms of, you know, we want to encourage vaccinations. That's the standpoint we come from. You or would you have an interest in talking to Kirk Cousins about his particular situation involved in this? Again, I think uh, we've worked with Coach and, and, and Rick on this, and uh, we're really approaching it, and all the conversations are really to the team. And uh, that's the standpoint we come from. And uh, again, uh, Eric Sugarman, our entire medical team, just really making sure that everyone has the full facts, that there's not any misinformation about this, and that uh, and, and to understand all the ramifications of these decisions. Mike Zimmer said yesterday that he's fully prepared, that this could be something where you miss players during the year. As an owner, knowing the amount of resources you put into this team, that something like a COVID interruption could effectively torpedo the season. How, how do you take that? Well, again, uh, the competitive side is, of course, concerning. Uh, but again, our, our focus is on health and safety, and we care about the players and the team. And from that standpoint, they happen to be aligned. The fact is that uh, we're encouraging vaccinations. This is uh, we're talking about a serious health uh, pandemic, and uh, it's something we want to make sure that our players, our staff, our coaches, that they're fully informed of what's involved here. And from that standpoint, I think the way Coach Zimmer and uh, Rick Spielman and the entire football uh, team has handled this is, is the right way in terms of making sure we provide the resources as ownership that uh, everyone is educated and has the opportunity to understand all the facts here. For, for context, I think Alan Sills said last week that about 88 percent of the players in the league have at least begun the vaccination protocol. Can you share anything about where the Vikings are at in that regard? Yeah, th those kind of uh, specifics on the medical and, and the statistics is not something I, I'm going to share. That's really something that's uh, privy to our medical staff and, uh, and, 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 and our organization. So I'd rather not comment on that. But again, um, we come at it, and I can't say it enough, we, we, we come at it from a point of stressing the health and safety of everyone in the organization. And ultimately, that, that, that extends to the community. Um, you know, the Minnesota Vikings are, are, are you know, 
as prominent as we are, we want to make sure we set the right example too. And, and the messages we we provide in terms of making sure people get vaccinated is something we are very uh, supportive of and trying to encourage. A couple teams throughout the NFL during training camp have had like community vaccination efforts on site, whether it practices. Is that something that the Vikings are considering doing? Maybe. Like that this training camp goes on? Well, we're constantly working with the state and local officials to whatever whatever they're going to need from a resource standpoint, community-wise, we're, we're certainly eager to help on that front. And that includes, like, like we had in the off-season vaccination centers and, and, and whatever messaging we can provide uh, to help the state and the public health officials, we're eager to do so. Mark, the news came out today that Jeff Gladden has been indicted uh, on the, his arrest in April. What are your thoughts on that particular case, and what is Gladney's future with the Vikings? Well, obviously, uh, allegations like uh, these are very disturbing and uh, something that's concerning to us as ownership and to our organization. So the news you are just talking about just apparently hit a couple minutes ago. So uh, right now, our, our GM and our coach, and, and we're talking to the league and, and really are working through to understand this better. And as we get more information here in the coming hours, we'll... We'll, we'll, we'll let you know where we go on this. But obviously the allegations are very disturbing. What are your expectations uh, from an on-field perspective this season? Well, you know, personally and as their ownership, and I think Coach Zimmer has laid it out, uh, we're really excited. Uh, the, the offense, of course, where it was last year was in a really strong spot. And uh, we brought back uh, pretty much where we're at, and we made some really notable improvement, particularly on the offensive line. And on the defense, just uh, last year we had a lot of young players uh, new to our system, got a lot of playing time, and now with just all the additions uh, in the offseason as well as uh, the players that have, are coming back, uh, just real excited about the roster. And, uh, and, and we know how uh, energized our fan base is, and having the fans back is going to be a huge competitive help for us. And, uh, so from all those standpoints, uh, we couldn't be more excited. Mark, what do you expect uh, U.S. Bank Stadium to be like in week three for the, the first home game? Well, uh, you know, it, it's going to be special. At U.S. Bank Stadium, we think and we know uh, the best facility in the world and having our fans back. I mean, you're talking almost a year and a half since fans have been back to the facility. So the energy will be high. Um, we still have a pre, you know, training camp, preseason couple regular season games before we get back here to a home regular season game, but uh, it's going to be loud, boisterous, and hopefully uh, tough for our opponents to play. Mark, at this point, can you say to someone who hasn't taken the vaccine that would change their mind? Because usually by now everyone's dug in. Well, again, we continue to educate, and the education is constant. Uh, all of these... Uh, Issues related to the pandemic are changing daily. So like I said, people like Eric Sugarman and our medical staff are bringing up-to-date information uh, to all of our organization, including the players and coaches, to just keep them aware of what's going on, how they can protect themselves, and how vaccinations really is the, is the best way to protect themselves, uh, but, and, and all the facts about the vaccines. So all of those details are being constantly um, talked about by us. and. Uh, we recognize that you know individuals have are making their decisions based on this information, but we're here to provide the priority of health and safety of our organization. That's utmost to us as ownership, and we are going to keep providing the resources information to make sure uh, that gives us the best chance to provide that. Mark, with the combine moving out of Indianapolis after 2022, is that a priority to get that here to Minnesota in 2023 when they're able to take bids? Well, I think we proved in Super Bowl 52 that this community knows how to handle big events, uh, really embraces it. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a culture here really embracing the big events. And so we feel uh, both the Combine and the NFL Draft, we've put our, we put our uh, hat in the ring, if you will, uh, to compete for those because uh, the corporate community, uh, the fans, Everybody is super passionate here and would be great partners to make this happen. So uh, we're encouraging uh, the league to, to think seriously about this and hopefully uh, they'll consider us as a great venue for that. So to clarify, the Vikings have officially put a bid in for the combine in 23? Uh, I'm not sure which years. I believe it's, uh, we, we can clarify that. 2023 through 27. Yes, beginning 23, yes, through 27, yep.